The Chicago Bears lose David Montgomery. But it's not just the fact that we lost Monty. It's the fact that we lost Monty to the Lions. Uh, He signs with the Detroit Lions. We'll talk about how that will affect the Chicago Bears moving forward and what that means for this team and Monty's future as a whole. All that and more in today's episode of the Windy City Breeze Sports Talk Daily. Let's go. Now, if you are new to the channel, please like the video. Please subscribe to the page. We do talk Chicago sports daily on this channel. It's the only channel talking Chicago sports, how Chicago talks. So make sure that you get in tune with us, man. The Chicago Bears lose David Montgomery, and it sucks. Uh, but they lose him to the Detroit Lions, which makes it suck even more. He signs a contract with them three years, $6 million per, essentially, right, at $18 million over three years, right? I mean, listen, I, I, I know my opinion on Monty is not a popular one, or my opinion on the running backs as a whole, I should say, is not a popular one, especially in the city of Chicago where we are the home of the running back, right? Um, but I, I, I appreciate everything Monty brought to this city. I love that he was a hard runner. I love that he was willing to improve his game. I love what he was as a leader on this team, right? I love the dynamic of him as a blocker, being able to pick up the blitz. I thought he was excellent at that, and he was something that Chicago Bears needed standing next to Justin Fields at the time that we're at. Um, and, and I have nothing but fond memories of David Montgomery here in Chicago. I, I thought that he came out and he was a hard runner. He was a hard fighter. And he was the epitome of the Chicago Bears culture. But at the end of the day, it more so sucks that we lost him to the Lions than anything. Because now we got to see him uh, basically twice a year. And I, I just, I, I wish him nothing but the best in Detroit, right? But here's the reality of it. You can find another David Montgomery. I've said this all offseason. I said this during the season last year when we were going through things with Roquan and stuff like that. There's two positions I'm not worried about the Chicago Bears finding. Defense and running backs. It's been our history. We can find another David Montgomery. You do not, do not, do not pay for running backs. And I, for one, am actually happy that we have a GM that kind of gets that understanding of running backs being a dime a dozen kind of piece. When you look at a lot of the running backs on the market right now, first off, I don't believe one running back was signed in day one of free agency, which kind of tells you the value there, how far down the totem pole they are. And on, on the flip side of that, right, I also believe that when you look at the running back position, There's guys out there that are special, and then there's guys out there that are replaceable. David Montgomery was a replaceable kind of running back. He was not Derrick Henry. He was not uh, 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 um, uh, uh, Adrian Peterson, right? Like, he wasn't one of these uh, generational talents that you have to find a way to hold on to because he's actually worth the money that you're going to pay him. Now, $6 million, not a ton of money, right? Not to say the Chicago Bears couldn't have brought him back. I wouldn't have actually even been that surprised if we had brought David Montgomery back, right? Because... To me, I I look at and and I apologize that I keep looking at my phone. I keep getting text updates trying to see right like what the uh, what the contracts are and different things like that. And and, and a lot of stuff that's coming off of the board. I want to make sure that I'm staying current with this. But yeah, 11 million guaranteed in that deal as well. This is being reported by Adam Schefter, originally reported by Tom Pelissero as well. Um, But I think that the Bears can go out there and find another guy that fits the role that David Montgomery fit for this team. I do not feel like you're in a position right now where uh, the guy that you have in the building and Khalil Herbert is the end all be all answer. But I guess that also depends on what your uh, uh, um, offensive line looks like, right? Like a big part of the reason that I was okay with re-signing Monty in the video where I talked about possibly trading him or, or I'm sorry, possibly not re-signing him. A big part why I was okay with the Bears re-signing him was because of Monty's blitz recognition and how he was as a blocker in that backfield. You do bring back uh, Blazin game as a fullback. He'll probably try and get some more use out of him this season than last season as he was out to injury. Um, but I mean, like, listen, running back is a position that we always, and here's the thing about Listen, Bears fans, I I just want us to remember this. This is the thing that we always say. You can't let this guy go. This guy came out and gave you amazing production. I don't disagree with any of that. But remember when we couldn't replace Jordan Howard? We were able to replace Jordan Howard. Remember when we couldn't replace Tariq Cohen? 
you were able to replace Tariq Cohen. Remember when, right, like we can go back through the running backs in history. Remember, we were never going to replace Matt Forte. And then we got Jordan Howard, and everybody kind of just glossed over the fact that in two less games, I believe he only had 100 less yards than Ezekiel Elliott in his rookie year, and you found him in the fifth round, that you do not spend money on positions that are not major, major, major pieces to your future moving forward, right? You spend money on the pieces that you can't go out there and continue to find. And I think that that's the tough part about this, right? Not to say that I don't value David Montgomery and what he was for Chicago. Like I said, he ran like a Chicago bear. He ran hard, ran, did never shied away from the contact, went through the contact. But at the end of the day, listen, He's a cog that can be replaced in the giant machine that is a football team, just like most running backs are, right? And what? And here's the thing. A lot of times, and I'm not saying that David Montgomery was going to be an overpay by any stretch, right? He ends up getting $6 million a year. That's not a break-the-bank contract. I do want to know how you guys feel, by the way. Let me know in the comments below. I'll be down there talking with you as well. Uh, do you think that the Chicago Bears should have kept David Montgomery? Are you more pissed that he went to the Lions than anything? Uh, are you viewing David Montgomery as the ops right now? I see, I've seen a lot of that going on in the chat as well dog so uh let me know how you guys are feeling in the comments below man i'll be down there talking with you as well the other thing that i that, that i will say though right like not to say monty would have been a fall off by any stretch of the imagination but when you you've seen the the result of guys that have been paid at the running back position in this league the guys that have been paid you got one guy out of most of them, right, that have gotten that big contract and you're like yeah that's what he's supposed to he, he's living up to that and it's really derrick henry Ezekiel Elliott gets the big money, right? They, they re-signed Tony Pollard. They re-signed injured Tony Pollard, right? So that tells you all you need to know. And I'm not saying that Monty was getting that kind of money, right? But it just shows you where the value of the running back position is. And in, in a draft right now where you can go find another one, guess what? Treston Ebner was drafted last season in what? The fifth round, I believe. He may not work out. He may not be the end-all, be-all guy here either. And, you, and that's not going to work out for you. And that's not the running back that you want in your facility. Okay, go get another one. And you know what you can do the year after that? You go get another one. And you know what you can do to year after? It's, it's a continuous cycle. Now, there are still guys available for the Chicago Bears to go after, right? An interesting one, which would probably be the most interesting thing out of all of it, right, is the fact that now you're talking about a guy like Jamal Williams, possibly, because he does not have a home what could you go out there and get for a jamal williams i like him as a as, as a style of running back coming in to the chicago bears i think he would be a really good fit here in chicago right and as i get another twitter alert here just want to make sure that uh that this isn't breaking bears news here and i'm not going to be dropping this and then going live okay no this is a chief signing which is shout out to them they're signing charles o o o mean who o me who uh, to a two-year, $20 million contract. Shout out to them. Um, but yeah, right, like the, the running back market right now, and I, I talk about it more so in my David Montgomery video. Make sure to check that out as well, right? Talking about who could the Bears go after. I, I break down, right, the free agent market that's out there. The list of free agents is still pretty good. The list of free agents on, on the, on the uh, running back market is still pretty good. Oh, on top of that, the list of guys in the draft this year, Still pretty good. So you've got a couple of options to work with here. Um, I mean, there, there's there's a bunch of, right, Devin Singletary, I believe, is still out there as well. So there's names out there that if you really find somebody that you think fits with your offense more, you can go get. I hate to see Monty go, but at the end of the day, I'm not surprised by this. I'm not surprised by this. And so uh, I do want to know how you guys feel, man. Let me know in the comments below. I'll be down there talking with you as well. Do you think the Bears should have re-signed David Montgomery? Is this Ryan Pohl's first bad move of the offseason? Um, I, I would love to know how you guys feel, man. I'll be down there talking with you as well. As always, it's your boy, Pat the Designer. Back at it again to continue watching our Chicago Bears content. Click the links on the screen to check the links in the description below. Y'all stay safe out there, Chicago. Peace.